Good evening, everyone, business associates and value customers. Randy Garcia here with Office Express doing another review this week for the different types of hand sanitizer dispensers that are available in the market. So let's get started. Um, traditionally, the old school hand sanitizers are push button. You put a cartridge in here, this particular brand we carry Boardwalk. Unfortunately, there's none available at this time. This also works with soap as well as, as a hand sanitizer. And obviously, Purell makes their own version. Some of you have seen this before. Uh, it comes in a bag inside. It is manual. And we'll give it a go here and open it up. And you can see the bag is in here. You stuff it in there, clips on, put it together, push the button. As you saw, some gel came out. There it is. Squirt all over the floor. It smells good. Anyway, uh, the one that's next generation would be these 1,200 milliliter. I don't have any batteries on it, but you push your hand to the bottom, you don't have to touch anything. All right, it's got a little sensor here. Put the cartridge in, it's foam, and it'll last you a while. They both come in gel and foam. This one is a soap one made by, uh, I'm gonna point it this way, it's gonna squirt out in a minute. There it is. It's got a sensor, works in the same way, and it is made by Gojo, which is the soap version of Purell. But the, the same size model, which is 700 millimeter, will work with the Purell as well as the soap dispenser. And as you can see, it's all foam, which is the best way to go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this and put it on my hands for right now because I don't got any paper towels. But it smells good. Anyway, and then you have the stands. Kimberly Clark, great company, work with them all the time. Um, we have these for the bathrooms and these stands come available as well. Put your hand at the bottom. As you can see, same thing, foam, good. This is a hand sanitizer. It works, it works well with the different cartridges that come inside. Unfortunately, the bad news is that some of these products that I just mentioned to you are not available. Supply and demand is not reaching South Florida yet. So what happens is we have to improvise. And how do we improvise? Um, we improvise by bringing in other products that we can get in a local source to get you guys these hand sanitizers and everyone goes back to work. I heard that some of these other uh, brands that everyone knows about won't be reaching the market until late summer. That's around August, to be exact. And even then, we don't know what will happen. Uh, so let's go over what we do have versus what we don't have. We're bringing in these gallon hand sanitizers, and we vetted most of the different uh, vendors that we dealt with out here. And we want to try to stick with isopropyl alcohol, okay, because the, the, the ethanol does not smell that good. So this is one available that come four to a gallon. You squeeze a little pump bottle. They all come with a pump bottle, a pump spigot. And you put it on your hands. It's very, very creamy. It feels like an actual lotion, okay? A little sticky sometimes, but it will go away and it smells like pure alcohol. So um, it may have a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in it with the isopropyl alcohol as well. Okay, works good. Four to a case. Put one in your reception, put one in the lunchroom, put one in the warehouse, it'll go a long way. Four in a case, I think they're going for $149.95, and that's a great price for four gallons of hand sanitizer. The next product that we brought in recently, just this week, and we just got several shipments, so give us a call, did a previous video on this great product. It is isopropyl, it's got vitamin D, vitamin, I'm sorry, not vitamin D, vitamin D is what you take. It's got vitamin E, it's got aloe vera, and it's very good and it's 70% isopropyl alcohol. And this is a little thin, not too sticky. Again, wakes you up, good alcohol smell, not any funky ethanol smells. They come 30 to a case. Same thing, around 149.95. Give us a call, click on the link below if you wanna place any orders. Uh, we've got plenty of these in stock and these are the two we're gonna lead with right now. Um, you know. These other bottles, uh, Ken Purell's not really around. We're looking to bring another company in. These are foam. And if we bring them in from another company, we'll see what we can do in the meantime. I had one of these left over. Foam is really the best way to go. So any foam dispensers is good, but gel will do it during these, uh, these, these challenging times. We need to get back to work and make sure that our employees and our staff have the, the, the products available to sanitize their hands, especially when there's no water or sinks around. And by the way, if you wash your hands regularly, it works the same way. It doesn't always have to be hand sanitizers, but if you're looking to, uh, to buy some and you're having a hard time, you don't want to buy from somebody on the internet that you don't know, give us a call and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. So until then, I'll keep doing these product reviews to keep everybody abreast of what's going on. Have a great day.